Hey guys, today I'll be showing you a new anti-detect browser called Dolphin Anti. It was developed by the team behind Dolphin, which is a Facebook ads automation tool that can help you manage multiple ad accounts through a web panel. And this is their anti-detect browser. It's pretty straightforward to use. Um, all you need to do is create a profile like in other anti-detect browsers, give it a name like Proxy Empire USA, then you can add a tag to it so you can easily find it. Then you can select the OS fingerprint. So one very important thing to keep in mind, not just with Dolphin Anti, but with all anti-detect browsers, you should always choose an OS which matches the OS that you're using. So if you're using a Windows machine, make sure you use Windows fingerprint. Otherwise, if you select Mac or Linux, if you're using Windows, there will be some misconfigurations. So always use the same OS as your computer. Okay, uh, they have some preset settings for Facebook, Google, TikTok, and crypto. So I'm guessing if you select the Facebook option, it will apply some additional settings. And I see it probably in the ports to protect, okay. So then you can just click on new proxy and you can give it a name or you can actually use a safe proxy but in this case we're gonna just create a new proxy so I'm gonna grab a United States proxy from proxy empire just copy this copy paste it and then we can click the check connection button we can see we have a proxy from Georgia Thomasville and we can see the time zone of the proxy then we can give it a name USA Georgia state Okay, so if you have selected the Facebook option, you can actually enter the login and password of the account and import some cookies, but let's say we're not going to do this, which can save you some time when you're logging into the profile. So here's the interesting features. Um, on WebRTC, you can either set it to off or show the real WebRTC, which I do not recommend because if you show your real WebRTC, it will not match your proxy's location. So always keep it unaltered. Same way we do it in multi-login and ads power. Canvas, um, by default it's set to Rio. I would recommend to setting it to noise as well as WebGL. And then these settings, time zone, language, geolocation, you should always leave it on auto so it matches your proxy IP. S then you can set uh, CPU, memory and so on. You can leave it on real or you can put it on manual again it depends what you should be thinking about is if you leave it on real you should think about how common is your current setup let's say you have a octa-core processor with 16 gigabytes of ram you should think about like does this seem real is it very common because the thing with anti-detect browsers is you want to blend in with the crowd as much as possible so if you have an unusual configuration like a very old machine or a very high-end machine with like 32 cores and 128 gig gigabytes of RAM, you should probably not set it to show your real CPU and memory because then it will be an outlier which will make it stand out from the rest of the visitors on a specific website and make your profiles easier to detect. So for the screen, they leave it on real by default. Again, the same thing if you're using a 4K ultra wide monitor, it's probably best not to use the real resolution because less than 1% of users use that and just set like a more common resolution like 1920 by 180 or something like this, which is a 2K resolution. Then the ports, you can leave the protect feature on and this is the do not track uh, togo it's it's pretty common they have it in both chrome and firefox native versions where you can basically send a request to the website to not track you but honestly i don't really think it plays a role it's supposed to stop ads from remarketing you uh, remarketing to you but the thing is most real users do not have it turned on and as i mentioned you want to blend in with the crowd as much as possible 
and then we can check out the additional settings here you can set the user agent and some other things uh, one thing to keep in mind unlike multi-login and ads power where you can actually set um, the browser version because they have their own um, Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox browser versions based on the real ones here they don't they don't have their own browser core and you can just use like some user agent you can generate it again I tried playing around with it a few times and it seems to just be using Mozilla so I'm guessing they, they don't have the option to use Chrome but I'm not 100% sure okay so we've created our profile then let me show you some other interesting things here they have a proxy manager feature where you can just bulk import proxies which can save you some time if uh, you're gonna be creating a lot of accounts and then it shows you on how many profiles each proxy is used on then they have the scenarios uh, automation which actually looks very interesting where you can basically make a scenario where you start a browser and then you can make it open a new tab which can then move the mouse around and you know it can press some keys type some text or then you can make it go to another URL for example and so on so this could be an interesting feature to build out uh, some simple automation when you want to farm accounts on different platforms or to just warm them up and simulate activity and they also have uh, some rudimentary scraping capabilities like get URL, get text, get value and so on so it could be used for you know grabbing the the Facebook Ads token for example from the Ads Manager so it could be useful if you're you know managing a hundred accounts and you want to get the Facebook ad tokens from all of them and then to put them into the Dolphin Facebook Ads Manager program or for any other purposes they also have a bookmarks where you can basically bookmark specific websites if you're going to be using them on all of the, your profiles they also have an API which at the moment is only in Russian and that's pretty much it oh and they did mention that they're going to be releasing their own automation marketplace basically where you wouldn't need to hire your own developers and you would be able to just purchase a ready-made script for farming Facebook accounts which does sound very interesting and make sure to use the discount code provided in the video description below. If you have any questions, you can contact their support or you can write to our live chat. We'd be happy to help you set up your Dolphin browser.